Okay, evening everyone, thank you all for coming. Um, have we got any apologies from us? I don't think we have, we? No, we're all here, aren't we? House, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, declarations of interest, anyone got anything they need to let us know about any dis declarable, dis disclosable pecuniary, pecuniary interests or any other interests? No, great. Uh, we've got no, no interest parties present and I assume there's nothing we really no, need to talk about now. Okay, great. Uh, so the first uh, item then really is the minutes of the previous meeting. So uh, you've seen those in your pack. Um, so it was just myself, Councillor Sparks and Glenn who were there. So. with the minutes as presented. Okay, so can I have a proposer? Sorry, oh, I can't do anything else. Councillor Sparks, Councillor Green seconded, oh, and all those in favour? You can vote even though you won't. Alright then, I'll vote. <laughs> <laughs> if you trust us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone against? <laughs> Okay, so those are approved. Um, next item is uh, sorry, that's, that's the, I'm reading the minutes on. Oh yes, yeah, that's yes, that's the minutes. I need to sign the minutes. Receive the balance sheet budget account, pub trading account for September 18. So, again, this was in your pack. Um, I don't think the officers have got anything in particular they want to bring to our attention. No. And you've got some extra money because of the precepts, so your reserve account is going up by £160,000. You'll see it precept twice a year, so it makes everything a bit much healthier on the balance sheet. Mm -hmm. As far as the budgets are concerned, most things are there or thereabouts on income. The preschool is down by five grand and that's because there's a, a question about their rent, about whether they're paying VAT or whether they aren't paying VAT. Okay. There's ongoing discussions with HMRC about it. We've got, should we leave that until then? Yeah, the, okay. On the agenda, so yeah, yeah. okay. Um, so we're only receiving them, so unless anyone's got any questions. Um, no, well, we don't answer about the precept, but uh, the hub trading account, yeah. it shows a huge change compared with last year in, as I understand it, hub staff costs and also the margin they're getting. No, can we put this back until the, because we've got a gender item, just this was to really discuss the hub. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, so can we, can we yeah. do that then? That's fine. That's oh, it's just not really the hub. Yeah. Okay, so if there's no other questions, clarifications, observations, we'll go on to the next item, which is the six month breakdown of room hire. Uh, and again, we've got a document, I think, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so, again, I don't know. This was something that Malcolm specifically Well, wanted. because I was, I was hoping, looking at it, Emma's been saying that uh, room hires are up, we have some really good news to report to, you know, on Oracle or something, on a study of a positive story, but actually we're only up, as far as I can see, over six months, by 7%, mm -hmm. um, which is good, but I was hoping for what you said. Most of it is called house tenants. Right. Yes. 
and if it did a lot of work in all the tenants in. But the hub, no, sorry, the room hire, I think, could work out. Anyway, sorry, just that. The, I do think it's, it addresses a problem we've got in that we've got to have a comms and marketing um, committee doing the marketing, and it seems, all that seems to have broken down. We haven't really got a marketing group. I think, can I just make an observation of, just on the numbers? Um, one of the reasons why, well, one of the reasons the number is not better than it would have been is if you look at flattened house tenants, there's very little income from flattened house tenants. Now, this was to do with the fact that we've dropped all the rents yeah. and they okay. were in order to avoid having to give the money to them to give it back to us. So, actually, if you take into account the nearly £5,000 that we haven't received compared to the previous year, we're actually rather better than that. I'm looking at flattened house room on that. Which hasn't changed very much, I don't think. Okay. So what isn't probably showing in there at the moment is the, what's it called, Aura Cultro? That starts about now. Yeah, <coughs> so we because we've got the fine dining yeah. happening, that probably, you know, in the next few months you'll see that going in. But That's think, a new I think thing. it applies to QBH, the hub, Fenton House, that we need to focus, somebody needs to focus on marketing, and that marketing and comms committee is but it's doing comms, it's doing um, the Oracle, but I don't know if that's like, well, it, you know, it got the mouth of yeah. a long time ago, but it seems to have since then it's lost its way. But that's part of the reason so, why the budgets look so good. Our expenditure, we've got a £9,000 budget for marketing for the hub, and so we haven't spent any of that. No, exactly. So I, do, I think we have to think about how we're we We have got an item on the agenda do. next week for um, comms and marketing, haven't we? We've got new terms of reference that we'd like yeah. approved. Well, I, think, yeah, I think that Michael's point is, is, is good. It yes, is, yeah. We're really, we need now to thinking about marketing. You know, we've got some great facilities. You know, we, we need to think mm -hmm. of ways of doing it. Yeah, I think, so. I think yeah. Ian is getting good on platforms, so he's giving us vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. yeah, we're ready for the next the next stage. I don't think the terms of reference for the comms and marketing committee is very clear, so that I think they sort of need to sort of out. Yeah. Yeah, he's rewritten them. So, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> but, uh, I, I agree. You know, we must do more on marketing. Yeah. You know, we've got a lot to sell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, good, but good facilities. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Very good facilities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good point. I think that's well, yeah. well made. Okay. Shall I move on to the next item? Um, so, report on update online banking facilities. The document that you've got, I'll stress that's my view, doesn't mean to say that is the bank that we need to go with. And if you want me to try any other banks to see what else is available, by all means, I've already. Can, can, can I just ask why you felt that co op were a no? Because they don't allow three signatures. Ah, okay. There we go. So up from that Western Scottish Widows don't allow three signatures. Okay. Unity Trust I excluded simply because they don't do a debit card, they do their own version of. Mm -hmm. And I thought we might as well have a proper debit card rather than a made up version of. Uh, out of the ones that were left, the best option as far as I could see was Barclays 1 because we've got one in the town, I don't know how long that was before, but their interest rates were decent and the lady that I spoke to is prepared to come out to the Anvil branch, and then we can visit the Anvil branch to set up signatures. Otherwise, it's a trip to Corby or Peterborough or wherever local branches are, or Yorkshire or Clydesdale. Now, if you want me to carry on with that, then I can phone up and organise it for some point reasonably soon. Initially, there'll be three signatures, and once the three signatures are set up, that will allow us to get internet banking, get everything up and running, then any other councils can be added as necessary, but initially it's just setting up the first three, if that's the way that everyone wants to go. And the primary reason is one, internet banking, and two, be able to access online data. Because mm. at the moment we're reliant upon the post office to deliver the bank statements before I can get end of month data. Okay. I mean, I mean, I know we're not, we haven't got a resolution here to, to decide on, but I mean, I think that's, that, you know, I think that's what well, I think we need to, 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 carry, to carry on, I think, and bring yeah. it, bring well, it. I'd be very happy with Barclays. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good brand, a good business uh, partners you know, for other people. You haven't got shares of it, have you? 
I think, well, we had agreed that we were going to go to online, yeah. uh, but at the time we were thinking of the Unitary Trust because we felt that, that was the only one that offered us enabling, like, yeah. still having the three signatories, but Paul's found that Barclays do it as well. Yeah. So. But there's one other, an extra phase that you need to go through for, assuming we have everything set up, you will need to have everything set up for, I'll change all the DDs, standing orders for Nag West, I'll transfer the preset to be paid into the new bank, do the payroll through the new bank, have everything currently being paid into Nat West, and then you need some kind of plan in place so that if you close Nat West and go to Barclays, what are you going to do with invoicing in terms of everyone we've dealt with for the past 20, 30 years have always paid into the same account, same customer number, and I've had another customer I deal with who's been scammed out of money through that. And it's just too easy. Yeah. I think we we'll probably have to have a crossover period where we're running both. Until well, we initially I just set it up so that everything gets paid into our West. Mm -hmm. But you're then in the same position where you can't access the bank data. Mm. Uh, no, I would hope that Barclays will help us through this thing. They, they should have people in their team. They will be, but yeah. a bit about when we transfer from that West to the new. Oh, bank. I understand that bit, but I'm just saying that either Barclays should be able to yeah. give us advice yeah. on mm -hmm. how to safely do this transition. Yeah, but I just mean as a name, yeah. So I'll continue. Yeah, okay. Right, next item is the hub. So, um, okay, I think, uh, I mean, the, the information that you provided is basically uh, within the main um, report, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, so, uh, so yes, so the, the third and the fourth pages of the um, of the September 2018 PDF document uh, has the hub numbers in them. Um, Paul, do you want to? Is there? Do you want to talk? Give me a summary or well, the income is encouraging because it's only £1,600 down after six months, which is obviously very good. The expenditure is £6,000 down over six months, but we budgeted for £23,000, so it depends which way you want to view it. But we're either doing very well because we're not spending as much as everyone thought, but we were budgeted to lose £42,000 over the year. How do we achieve it? I mean, is it just the increase in, in margin? I mean, there seems to be a huge difference in uh, gross profit. Right? Well, the difference is we're not spending as much as certain people thought we would be spending. Right. But this is compared with last year, presumably, where we were spending a lot more. Mm. I think it's just tightened up. They've tightened everything yeah. up. And they've tightened up. Running more efficiently. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, very it's very good. Mm. When the budgets were originally set. It's very good. It's quite a significant gap between income of 86 to an expenditure of 128. And if we can get you know, this promotion done, we'll visually improve the income yeah. again. I must admit the place looks pretty impressive every time I go in there. Mm. You know, it really seems to be a place now that people want to go and socialise in. So. Are we still getting problems with the ballet people changing in there? Um, no, we're not. I mean, they do change. They can change up here. Um, it, it doesn't seem to be as a problem. Um, if the barman runs free, they just nip in there, or they just the girls just use the toilet. So I think the majority of them are probably just coming in their their gear, so they haven't got a change. Um, I don't. I certainly don't get any feedback from either Claire or Sarah no, to say that it's a you know, it's causing hassle again. Um. I think, yeah, I think uh, one of the things that we did identify is that August was a difficult month, and it was partly because we had some staffing issues, mm. but also because it's a difficult month, because of course, you know, there's a lot of things shutting down, a lot of the... Uh, it's a difficult month every year. 
Yeah, well, a lot of the activities, you know, a lot of the activities that take place yeah, around here that drive the front farm. Isn't there anything else doing it? Can we do something else during the summer? Well, this is the this was the suggestion, wasn't it? So, uh, so it's whether or not we, we can maybe get our marketing team to have a think about um, yeah. what else we can do to yeah. drive football Promotional in the. Yeah, sure. I mean, with the lovely summer we had, you might, you know, you might almost have thought you could have helped. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. you could, you know, Beer and ice cream sales should have been through the roof, I would have thought. But, uh. You have the same issue with December, but obviously we're not here for one third of that month yeah. anyway. Yeah. But there's still plenty of opportunity to get mm. people through the door and yeah. Yeah. find yeah. someone who's prepared mm. to dress as Santa. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, there's no, um, we're not, uh, we're only here to discuss, we're not here to make any yeah. decisions, but it looks, looks to me as though we've, we've certainly got lots of uh, reason to feel optimistic that, um, that the hub's operating at a, at a Maybe not still not in the black, but certainly at a level which, um, when you think about the value of it as a community asset, I think is is, is not not, uh, not something I feel. I think it should be pressure stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, possibly uh, think about the extension again. Yes, maybe. Well, making that making that decision. Although yes. whether we need to, whether. I don't know whether the marketing need, team needs to look at ways of improving before we take yeah. that step. I, 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 I was sort of in a feeling that we ought to wait about a year. Yeah. A, a mm. year of, you know, to say that it's robust. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then, you know, because it's a big expenditure, uh, it would be quite a white elephant if, if you know, did something else went wrong. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think the other thing is, we, I'm not sure what effect. The school for services are going to have on the dance studio and whether we really do need That's a proper changing room. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could put a changing room on there and then all of a sudden mm. you know, they may choose to go elsewhere. Yeah. Mm. Equally, then we'd be more inclined to go elsewhere if we don't put the room. So it's a kind of down yeah, the road, down the road. Yeah, um, um, We did say that in October we were going to mm. review the situation. So is it on the agenda for the next? Um, we've just looked, gone through the agenda. I can't remember. Don't you it. I think. So I it think isn't it probably no, should be. It isn't. Yeah. It's down just as looking at the figures, but I think it needs to be, it needs to be a separate agenda item. Given what we've decided previously, that the other issue then might be: Would this committee be making any kind of recommendation for council? Because based on what we've heard so far, I suspect the recommendation is that we continue to try to develop it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know that there was a risk that perhaps we'd have been talking more about are we going to have to think about closing it down. Um, mm. I'm very much relieved to see that things have improved considerably and that that is perhaps unlikely now. But I do think that a positive message perhaps from this committee is a, into that discussion. Yeah. 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 I think it also needs to be made clear to the people downstairs I think they would that look, they're not yeah. at risk. Yeah, I think yeah. that's yeah. very important. I mean, we're all nodding around the table, so I think, can we take that then as a, as a, a recommendation from this mm -hmm. committee yeah. to the full council that we are very pleased with the progress that the hub's been making and that the, the current financial performance is, uh, is something that we're, we're you know, still room for improvement, but we're very happy with where we are. Well, well on track. Well, well on track, yeah. 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 <coughs> Good. Am I allowed to speak? I think you can speak, yes. <laughs> um, if we're thinking of spending, um, um, and you put money on things downstairs in the hub, kitchens and so on, I understand. Um, then we ought to be starting with some sort of plan for marketing now as to see to see whether there is actually a market there before we spend money. Yeah, essentially that's right. No good as saying we're going to spend the money next March mm -hmm. and then thinking, oh, I wonder, you know, is there going to be, are we going to get a return on that extra money that we spend? The, the, um, the marketing bit wants to be up and running now, I think, so that when we come to think about spending big money, we'll have a clearer picture of whether it's going to be viable to spend it or not. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying this 12 months. Mm. Yeah, just to, to show that we've got a robust uh, business there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. So I think it will be in our sort of three year plan for the facilities, you know, in the uh, 1990, 2019. 2019 budget, you know, but it will be the back end of that year to get the 12 months of uh, flexibility. So sometime around October next year, uh, we'll probably want to spend it. Okay.
no other point anyone wants to make, then the next item is uh, application for a grant from Andal Bridge Club, which I think there is something in the pack, isn't there? But this is something extra that you've Yeah, but, um, David Wils uh, Wilkinson said that the event actually happened this weekend and it's gone, and he just gave a breakdown of the actual costs of the uh, bridge weekend. Well, we think we've sorted that one out now. I yeah. Maybe these are salt and sugar. Yeah, we've uh, <laughs> found out that the half of the cups that we've got in there, they actually donated, they bought all the cups. So the cups that we use for our coffee during the day are actually the fridge cups. So, yeah. <laughs> so now we've, we've had a conversation and uh, we're, we're working nicely together. <laughs> Given that the event has already happened, and therefore they didn't need our money to make it happen, the question then arises, I suppose, as to whether or not we can fund it retrospectively in there. Well, that's I'm not sure that there's enough information in here for me to make that decision. Yeah, on the back of your books on the back. Oh, so. Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. Let me just briefly draw that last <laughs> comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only looked at the application and thought, oh, well, there's an application. Yes, I think there is. No, perhaps I want to have a look at that. I mean, if that balance is on. I mean, they've got the. How they, 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 are, they clearly have got money and then they sort of justify why they got the holding reserves they do. Um, I suppose it, it really comes down to whether or not we think it's something that's appropriate that we support. You know, it's, it, yeah. It's associated with this word twinning, isn't it? If it wasn't for the word twinning, I feel it was a bit of a cheat for us to, to pay £155 for wine and nipples for a particular exactly. social group here. So, do we have a twinning budget? No. No. I don't know, did you, did you perhaps used to have one? I think it's no, we go back far enough um, when the twinning first started, the view of the council that was then uh, in situ was that they didn't feel that it should be a drain on the council. Since then, many years have passed. Um, there have been occasions when money has been made available for twinning related matters, including um, trips for example, um, various mayors to Pondrecy or now. Uh, but we've never actually had a specific twinning budget ever, as far as I can recollect. Um, and we have at times had a council representative with twinning group. The twinning group seemed to fragment somewhat at one point, and certainly we don't currently have anybody as far as I can recollect, I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but I don't think we have a sort of current official rep. No, in all of the no, we don't. I just, just feel able to remind people at this stage, I, I have told you before, but um, just as a reminder, I am going to Ormsley. <laughs> 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 on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> on Thursday. I'm not asking the council to pay my petrol or any other expenses. In fact, honestly, they've been extremely generous in putting me up and entertaining me for the, for the duration. Uh, and to representatives of the twinning committee. So I just, yeah, so I, I have, will be using some of my mayor's uh, allowance to buy them a present, but that's, other than that, there's been, there'll be no cost to the council for, uh, for the visit from, by myself and two representatives of the, of, of the uh, twinning committee. We have given them two lots of money. One was in 2015, 250 pounds, but this is actually the twinning association. This is, Mm. Although it's related to twinning, yeah. it's actually mm. for the bridge club that 
this Sunday school. So we yes, do yeah, give to the twinning that. associates. But they use yeah. the they use the word twinning in there. Mm. I think it's it's something that they do every year. Either yeah. this year. Well, they, they do it every year, and they expect money every year. I think that's definitely. I don't. This is the first time I've ever asked for it. Actually, I think. So do 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 we give money to the twinning association now? We have done on two occasions, 2015 and the year financial year end in 2018. But I can't off the top of my head think why we, why we gave them that. Okay. Well, I, I would suggest that that's what we, we should do then in the future, is if, if we should consider applications for grants from the Twinning Committee, and then if they want to use it to support Bridge Club or anyone, any other club, then they could do that. I agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we won't specifically agree this one. We'll suggest they go and ask the Twinning Committee whether they've got any money left. Yes. Yeah? Okay, that's that then. Uh, rent review for volunteer action. Uh, yeah, this was something um, that was actually brought up at the town meeting, I think, because some of the rents for other organisations have been re reduced. Mm -hmm. um, a member of the public did ask why volunteer action hadn't been included. Um, I've sent you a copy of the lease and on Schedule 4 where it says about rent review um, it did say that we can review their rent after three years which is no. now. Yeah. Um, obviously what it says in here is we can basically leave the sound or put it up. It doesn't say about whether... So I think if we are going to reduce it we will need to amend this lease. You wouldn't need to amend it. Um, indeed, I, it's fairly conventional to have a, a, a rent review clause which basically says it stays the same or it goes up, but doesn't make any specific provision for it to go down. Um, because if you were ever acting for a landlord, that's what you would always advise. Of course, as a tenant, I like it. If it could go down, right. subject to market conditions, but I mean, you don't. This isn't really a market condition type lease if you think about it. Um, and it could be done as a concession. On the other hand, you might argue that the concession would be that we could actually rent the view it upwards, and if we chose not to, mm -hmm. then that has the effect of being you could consider something of a cut. I mean, this is another one of these ones where we provide funding to Walter Action, is it? So do we, do we provide a grant or to give some financial support to Volunteer Action? 2013 was the last time we had a grant. So, so, no, so we've not been... We've not it's not been, an ongoing yeah, commitment, not as it were, in the same way. Can I ask why, why Council were considering reducing their rent? We looked at the cost of um, what the rooms all cost us in here. We were looking at breaking down costs room by room to see which rooms were paying for themselves and which weren't. Um, we prorated costs of the building across all those various rooms and um, it came out that volunteer action were paying a huge amount more in rent than the rooms were actually costing us. In other words, we were making a huge profit from volunteer action, which I suggested to council was not a good thing for us to be seen to be making money out of um, a charitable organisation like that that actually ran into a debt about equivalent to the profit they, that we made and they overspent by that amount. Um, um, on that year. Um, so if we only charge them marginally more than the rooms actually cost us, pro rata cost of the building attributable to them, um, that would be fairer. And we did the same thing with lots of other organisations. Somehow volunteer action got missed when we looked at them all. Um, but all the others got a reduction, including a reduction for the Scouts and the Guides Act um, the John Storm Centre. So did anybody's go up in this or did everybody's come down? You looked at every, all the rooms. We looked at every room. Did every organisation come down or were, were some up and some down? 
Um, the one that is making a huge loss, and I suppose theoretically it needs to go up at some stage, but they've got a lease at the moment. Um, we can't, we cannot put it up unless they're now asking for a new lease, although their term has still got quite a few years to run, it's the museum. That's the only one, really, that is um, where we're, um, we're making a loss on it. And we ought really to be charging them more rent, in fairness. However, with all the other tenants we've got in the courthouse, and with the rents, we, the commercial rents we're getting on the bits that we've leased out, um, the courthouse was in the black, marginally in the black. Um, so we weren't too worried about the museum, which wouldn't be able to afford a larger rent anyway at that time. So um, when all comes to all, there's a net figure somewhere at the end that's going to reduce the council's revenue. If we, if we adopt the people's rents, there's going to be a net figure isn't there, at the end. What, what does that going to do to the revenue of the council? Um, well, obviously, we'd have less off of each of these people where we reduce their rents. Do we, know that? we were making the money um, in the courthouse with the, the um, tenancies there. We were making the money um, with the rooms in here that we're letting. Um, certain rooms were making a huge amount of money. That little tiny copper stock room makes the biggest profit margin of all, pro rata to size, um, followed by the ballet. The, the dance studio, um, followed by um, the, I think, the Glapthorn room. Barnwell, I think, made a slight loss, but all the others made profits. So um, do we know at the end of the day what this is going to do as a council's income? Is it going to be 20 grand less? Five no, well, no, no, the, no, rent, the, rent, think... the annual rent is only 4,800. Yeah, so we worked all this out. It was all worked out and uh, everything was, was balanced up. We balanced a budget last year, we produced a budget with all these figures in, mm -hmm. um, assuming that the rent on the um, volunteer action was going down when we did our budgets. Yeah, I think the uh, the ones that changed were chat, yeah. the scalps, yeah. the preschool was sort of capped at 7,000 and the only other one that we were going to look at was volunteer action. So did we, so we set a lower budget for the uh, for volunteer action? No, because we haven't we haven't. We didn't, we sorry, I thought I saw it. Sorry, I thought I saw it. No, we didn't. No, no. But I think we put in a figure in the budget, if I remember correctly, assuming that we we would do it. So that's what I just asked. So yeah. did we set a budget with a, for, 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 for a lower number for interaction? No, we set the budget for four thousand eight hundred and ten. You decided afterwards you were gonna bring them down. Yeah, I think Maybe we just, we just decided after afterwards. we decided. Oh, you've made different decisions afterwards. Sorry? You've made different decisions now about reducing the rent for volunteer action. Well, we haven't made a decision, but we're no, discussing it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, you know, I think if we if we feel that um, we should have included volunteer action in the rent review that we took place for other voluntary organisations, despite the fact that we didn't budget for a lower income, I don't think that's a reason for us not to make that. You know, mm -hmm. Like that into action now. Mm -hmm. It looks just we've seen the financial finances that Paul presented earlier on. We're not we're not actually going to have, well, as far as we can see, I can see, we're not going to have a problem with, with running a, a deficit to our budgets for overall for the full year. So I'm sure we can afford whatever yeah. it is, fifteen yeah, hundred no, pounds or whatever the number is, say, to bring it in line with others. We could set that town meeting when it's brought to mm -hmm. Yes, we would look at it. Right. So, mm -hmm. I so, think we, so I think we should. I'm proposing then, if I, if I may, that we adjust. Uh, Volunteer actions uh, rent in line with the calculation that that was done for the other volunteer organisations, um, and retrospectively apply that for the full year. So, um, so we, we only charge them for that amount for the year. Do we have that, Councillor? Uh, sorry, do we have that amount? I've got that figure at home. I haven't got it with yeah. me tonight, but so I, I don't, can I don't that know figure out and produce it. Yeah. But given that the total rental is in, I mean, it's, it's on the slides that I did for the town meeting. Figures are on there showing what the room cost us, and we know what their rent is, so we know by how much to reduce it. We know to set it at a figure slightly above what. Uh, yeah. So is that about half or a quarter of what we ballpark figure? I thought the VA thing only came up at the annual town meeting. Sorry? I thought the rent of the, the volunteer action only came up at the annual town meeting. 
No, I think at that point, I think we'd, we had reduced scouts, mm. chat. Yeah, we did that. And preschool, but we just hadn't done volunteer action. And that's when it was brought up. Yeah. You've reduced the rent on... Yeah. Can, would you well, look yeah. at... Well, why, saying, why have you not done volunteer action? Wasn't yeah. it something like at the town meeting, the slide I showed is showing costs per room, what each room cost us, looking at absolutely everything. Um, and from that, we can deduce how much volunteer action was there, 4,800 and whatever it is, how much more they're paying than the room is costing us, so we can have an idea of by how much we could reduce it and still be marginally in profit. So as I look at the line on um, the flat house tenants at the moment, our annual income from them is 9,900 and these people are 4,800 of that, so they're about half of our income. Yeah, so just to get an idea of what the scale is that we're talking about taking it down to. I know we can afford it. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be a couple of thousand, isn't it? Yeah. In, in, but, in, yeah. Give or take. Yeah. But we should be voting on numbers that we know about. Yes. Um, but ultimately, I've got it here. Oh, I've found it, Roy. Yeah. Um, right, where is it? Yeah, I can't quite get it. Look. Yeah, come and have a look. Jerry, the, 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 the proposition would be much better. No, no, I, 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 totally, I totally agree. Yeah. I totally take your point, Tony. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're right. Well, I'm, I'm trying to be... That's what they actually cost us. expedite it. <laughs> 2385 is yeah. what they cost us, and they pay us 48 something, so um, we could reduce it by... That's about 24. We could reduce it... To about a half, reduce it to about two thousand four hundred. Mm. They don't pay VAT. Do they pay VAT? Oh, no. They can't recover VAT. We charge VAT charge. on top of that figure because what goes through their accounts when I attended their meeting, their AGM, um, their figure for rent is in excess of five thousand. And I queried it at their meeting and they said, well, that includes VAT, VAT. which is irrecoverable. Yeah. Well, so I know that we charged it, I didn't know if they were They would still get the VAT on top was of that. that yeah. Is that included VAT? Because there was a net of VAT. No, that's, no, excluded no. VAT, yeah. so it would be 2,400 plus VAT. Yeah. yeah. Is everybody happy with that? <coughs> no. <laughs> uh, the reason I'm not, in part at any rate, is that that's fine provided that all the rooms are generating broadly the quote-unquote correct income. But if we were to get into a situation where certain rooms were not, then to some extent, if we cut rents elsewhere, the chances of, as it were, making up a shortfall because we've got a, a surplus coming in at this place to make up the shortfall somewhere else, disappears and you know we're, we're leaving ourselves essentially absolutely no margin um, I don't think that's probably simply going too far um, I know my instinct was to simply say that given that we could have increased the rent we simply shouldn't increase it but I'm, I could be persuaded that it should go down but I would be loath to support something that took it down to almost exactly what we costed it out as for the reason I indicated. The only other thing is if you leave it the same and then you give them a grant to cover if you're going to produce that. I don't think that's a great idea. Cause which will be into the small amount we've got for grants, which yeah. is only 10,000, if you're not counting that 6,000 from the youth club money. And it's not particularly good tax-wise. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, we, we talked yeah. about this, didn't we? The other side of it is if if they have a, a rent of 4,800 and they're trying to get grants from elsewhere, they're basing it on their expenditure of 4,800. Mm. If you reduce the rent to 2,004, they're less likely to be able to get grants from other places. So we're effectively subsidising us. And then they may get, they may not get as much grant. From... Uh, for me, the main, the main, I, I fully accept what, what, what everything is that has been said, but for me, the main issue is to be seen to be dealing with them fairly in, in comparison to the yeah, other voluntary organisations. Mm -hmm. If we've already made a decision in principle that we won't uh, charge 
significantly more than the cost of providing the facilities to these voluntary organisations, then I can't see how we can do it for most of them and not and leave one or action out. So for, for my, you know, my, my view is that we need to be treating with them fairly along with everyone else. Yeah. And within, and I do fully accept it's £2,400 that we'll, we'll be losing from our income that is revenue that we, we in normal circumstances, we would have to find from elsewhere. But I repeat, we are more than comfortable this year, as far as I can see from from where we are. From elsewhere, I mean, the, the, the income that's coming in uh, from elsewhere is is paying, um, is, you know, is it, covering the costs yes. of the building. And I guess we seem to be doing better on room hire now than we were at that stage. Yeah. So and I guess if anything, we're going in the in the right direction. And I guess, David, if I don't, am I right in saying that if we don't change the lease agreement, the tenancy agreement, then we can still put it back up in the, in the future anyway? Um, I'm pretty sure that that's bad. I specifically checked it, but yes, I would imagine that we can. Uh, maybe in that case, you do it as a rebate rather than a reduction in the rate of rent. Well, because then you could review it each year and how much rebate you do. I mean, I, if, if the number was 25% reduction, I think we'd be fairly comfortable with it. Yeah. You know, it, seemed, it seems an awful lot of facility to be getting you know, for you know, sort of 2,400 a year. So you're suggesting that we, we give them... So? Yes, I do. Sorry to interrupt. But those two small rooms down there, and you're charging £4,800 for those two small rooms. So I think it's a hell of a lot to be getting for that rent myself. Um, but, mm. yes. So do you think it would cost commercially to go somewhere else? <coughs> yeah. Assuming that but they would actually fall yeah, into so They won't go commercially somewhere else, will they? No, so no, they don't. Just looking at the Unless someone gives them rooms. Yeah, but, but, <sighs> if, you, if you put it in another light, mm. if we could rent those two rooms out commercially, how much income could we get from them? And we could get, you know, sort of six or more thousand pounds for them. Mm. Yeah, so this is what we're really talking about, you know, with donating. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, in some I, ways we've done that because you see the whole history is they were down at the courthouse mm. we moved them out of the courthouse and moved them up here yeah. into these two rooms and um, the rooms down there we have let yeah. so the rooms that they had before we've let and we're now letting out a profit yeah. so in that sense they've obliged us by moving up here mm. but likewise as they, you know, that we could look at commercially releasing it Mm -hmm. We're not, and that's not the discussion now. Yeah. I just feel that a 25% reduction mm -hmm. feels more more in line, and it gives them very good value for money in that, and doesn't leave us too uh, too critical here. If that was a formal amendment, I'd second it, which would make the rent around three six rather than four eight. Mm -hmm. Is that a proposal? Yes, I propose. Well. Well, sorry, Jerry, you've got a proposal well, on the table. Well, yeah. In other words, it's an amendment to the proposition to reduce it. Well, we can put a number on it, haven't we? Because in the proposition, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, so formulating we, one was. We said we reduce it, so we'll reduce it to three six. I mean, I, well, if you, yeah, if you, if I, I'll take that then as a, as a, was that was a proposal? Was it from? Uh, so three thousand six hundred. Yes. Plus the eight. Okay. Um, and those, those in favour then? And when is this from? Oh, well, it's back to the other year, isn't it? Did you second it? No, no, no. David did. Yeah, it's back for this year. I think we had three in favour, four in favour. So, three, three, can I have to see the votes again? Four in favour. Against? One against. Um, I think it's only reasonable that I also uh, make a further um, proposal then. Um, which is that we do give the full 2,400 uh, rebo reduction, um, uh, and then see if we've got support for that. So, uh, can I um, ask if anyone's prepared to second that? That we give the full 2,400 yeah. reduction. Yes, I'll second that. Okay. Can Can I ask who's in favour of that? One and against. Three. Okay, so that's, that's fair enough. Um, I think, um, yeah, okay, that's, 
that's a democratic process. Innovation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, next item then is an update on the annual return, which uh, on Emerald. Yes. Um, we haven't had our return back yet because um, the new external auditors. Um, well, they've, they've had quite a few delays, so um, they're not getting through about 5% in the time they should. So they did send an interim um, conclusion of audit notice because by law we're supposed to put the notice up by the 30th of September. Um, they sent it on Saturday the 29th of September, so technically we couldn't actually get it up until after then. Um, <coughs> But we do have, aside from that, we have a bit of a problem with our annual return um, because, and not only we do, but also our internal auditor on her return for her council also has the same problem. Um, for the past 10, 12 years, we've, um, on the annual return, we've carried forward the figure in box seven, which is the carry forward figure. Um, However, this time we handed everything in and the external auditor said you need to um, carry forward box eight, which is the um, cash and short term investment box. We've never done this before, um, never been asked to do it before. It's always reconciled. It's always been carry forward box seven. So um, our internal auditor is looking at it, but on Saturday at the North Ants Cow KGM, I spoke to the clerk from Thrapston. Um, they work on income and expenditure the same as us. She'd handed her return in and had carried forward box seven and had that back no problem. So there's also inconsistencies. So it will come back as another matter on our return um, because we just can't work it. We can't, haven't got the time. We don't even know how to sort it out. But it is something that North Ants Cal, the internal auditors, and the other councils, because Hyam has been qualified for this external order, as have Warns, theirs has been qualified. So it's to sort of watch, watch this space, really. And they haven't got this query over. No, the uh, Rawns is they've, um, in your debtors and creditors, they've included a direct debit that should have gone out in March. It didn't go out until April, and they've been qualified for including it. It's 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 not. Um, I don't well. I don't really know. I mean, no. we spoke. We had a few conversations, didn't we, yeah. with with the external auditors? They couldn't help yeah. us. Um, couldn't advise us no. how to deal with it. If you don't start any financial figures that you brought forward figure, you're going to struggle to balance, aren't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, why is it even called a brought forward figure, you know, carried forward, if, you if you're not going to carry that figure forward? Mm -hmm. forward. <laughs> so I think we'll, uh, well, as you say, we'll... But it uh, is in hand, we'll and yeah. uh, again, I'm not sure people in the same position. Yeah, we're not the only ones. Um, I think... Have you taken this up with Danny Moody? Yes. Yeah. Well, our internal auditor has. Right. Um, and I think, what well, it will be a case of either us... I don't know, working out how we can for next year get, you know, if they do want us to carry forward box eight, how we do that, mm. um, or we have to have conversations as to, or training, I don't know, I don't know what we need to do, but it, from my point of view, I, I wouldn't mind if it was across the board, mm. everybody had to put box eight in, mm. but to then, here on Saturday, I mean, um, Linda from the Clark of Clapson, she even showed me her return. Mm. She carried forward box seven and it had been sent back fine. Yeah. So. Terribly inconsistent, something terribly wrong, something. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah. I would have thought, um, we, I mean, we're using the recommended, the NCAL recommended external auditor. Yeah. I would have thought uh, we need to get this information from each of the clerks. Yeah. The councils. Who, who, I mean, BDO. Be and, and get yeah. Danny to take this up with, with the, BDO. Yeah. Um, and uh, if if not, take it to NALC, mm. to National. There must be a finance guy there who can yeah, can help with it. At a much higher level. Mm. Yeah, agree. 
So yeah, so that's where we are at the minute. But like I said, we still haven't had ours back anyway. So. Okay. Uh, next item, final item, apart from any other business, is uh, to receive an update on preschool fat on rent. Did you want to do this? Yeah. <coughs> well, this was discussed. Anyone with a long memory can remember. I had to come in here and discuss VAT for the preschool about 18 months ago. <coughs> and my justification for not giving uh, not charging them back for time was because their accounts are very similar to two tribunal cases, which was Yarba and St Paul's. And full council agreed that I was correct. We had to confirm it with our auditor. And since then, I've been going back as a forward with letters to HMRC, who don't want to give an answer. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been going on since March. Yeah. Mm. So the latest one came back in September, and I forwarded that letter to Gina and Preschool, and she needs to still prove that her case is very similar to Yarborough and St Paul's. Mm -hmm. And if she can prove that, they won't need to pay the AT. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for her to get back to me. And I'll forward it back to HMRC and wait for the next letter. What's the criteria that she has to show? It depends on whether you're trying to make a profit primarily right. and what sort of children you have in your preschool, whether they're underprivileged children, whether there's underprivileged backgrounds. And that's what it's based mm. on. Mm. But it's, it's up to her to. Mm. But she has to prove that. Give to give us the proof that we can then okay with HMRC. So at the minute, though, we've got to charge VAT. And in the meantime, they're not paying their invoice until it's all sorted out, which is sort of understandable, rather than paying VAT, which we'll never see again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, presumably uh, the VAT will come back. Well, you can get it back. The Hairdressers Federation got back a massive amount uh, by challenging um, the VAT payments on annual subscription and it turned out that the VAT should only have been charged on a tiny proportion that was attributable to a contribution towards a legal helpline which was a commercial thing the rest of it was considered to be members money but we got the whole lot back and it went back to the start of VAT <laughs> some, of them, some of the members there went, got a huge amount of money back Presumably um, the preschool's not VAT registered there. No. No, no, so it'd be difficult for them. No. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that, Paul. Okay. Uh, final item then, has anyone got anything they want to let us know about for report only? No. Great, thank you all. That's, uh, that's us done, they want. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah. 8.24 or something like that. 8.23, I just wanted my phone. <coughs>